Welcome to the demo for Go No Go Pro, the only online RFP evaluation software for the architecture and engineering industry. I'd like to begin the demo by sharing with you the customizable features of Go No Go Pro. I'll start by clicking the Settings tab. Up top you can see basic company information that can be updated, as well as the three main areas for customization. We have Select Your Industry, Select Your Project Type, and finally select your threshold for pursuing new opportunities. The industries and project types can be customized and create a list that matches exactly with your CRM or your accounting software or any categories that you would like to choose in-house. So you can see that we can activate or deactivate any of these industries with the check boxes as well as add new ones on the fly so that the list that shows up on a day-to-day -day basis is exactly what you need. The project types menu works the exact same way where we can activate and deactivate these same as well as the threshold for pursuing new opportunities allows you to choose the threshold by which the tool will recommend a go or a no-go. It can be either 80%, 60%, or 40%, and what the tool does is uses your evaluator's average scores for an opportunity and compares them to this threshold. We also have the ability to upload your firm logo so that it can show up in the header and personalize the experience just a little bit more for your users. I'd now like to hop over to our Users tab just so that you can see how easy it is to add new users. All you have to do is click the Add New User button and you input basic information about that user. First name, last name, email address, which is used as our unique username, as well as password. Then you have the ability to select whether or not that user is an administrator. Administrators have access to all information and reports and all tabs, whereas a typical evaluator does not have access to the reports or the settings tab and they can only edit their own user information. The edit menu for each user looks exactly the same and allows you to change passwords if someone is, has forgotten their password for the tool. Okay, so now we'd like to go ahead and add a new opportunity. So we'll go to the dashboard and click the Add New Opportunity button. And here we'll just simply input basic information about the opportunity. Name, client name, and as you can see, when I begin to type client name, we'll get a menu of options there of previous clients that we've entered into the tool, just in case we're entering one that's already had a client name there before, so we can minimize data entry. We'll select our industries here and our project types, which are directly pulled from our settings menu that we set earlier. We'll go ahead and say this is a complete design opportunity. And then we input our contract amount, which can be net service revenue or it can be the total contract amount. It's up to you and what you'd like to track for your firm. Selection based on best value, yes or no, which is generally used for public opportunities. Then we put in our proposal due dates and our evaluation due date, which is the date that the tool uses to cut off evaluations and make sure that everybody's got a, we've got a good sound go or no go by that day. Finally, we can input special notes and send those to any of the evaluators that we select to evaluate this opportunity. So we can select as many users as we want to receive this and we'll, anything we put in here, they'll get in a email summary of this new opportunity that's asking them to log in and evaluate it. So we'll say this is a great opportunity here. And then finally we can add our URL or we can attach files, multiple files for this opportunity so that all the information can be found and housed in one location. Everybody can just click the links when they get log in to evaluate the opportunity here. We'll just put a URL for now. So once I save it, we'll see that this new opportunity has popped up on the dashboard here, Piedmont Condos. And now we can go on to evaluate the opportunity. Okay, so to evaluate Piedmont condos, we're just going to click the evaluate button here we see on the dashboard. And the evaluation process is streamlined to be less than two minutes total for any evaluator to log in and evaluate an RFP or an opportunity. We developed GoNoGo -No -Go Pro with the principles and the busy schedules of project managers in mind. So you can see all information is captured right here on one screen. We have all the basic information we input at the add new opportunity stage. And then finally, seven questions with a slider bar interface here that are all based on industry acceptance 
accepted criteria and relationships with client, distance from the job, and amount of contract that we would have to sub out. So very simple interface here. You've got four options for the where's the project located question and three options for the what percentage of our contracted amount we have to sub out question. And then finally notes on the opportunity where we can input anything that we'd like to that may not be captured in those seven questions. And those are going to be summarized in the go or no go email that's generated by the system once all evaluators have evaluated this opportunity or the evaluation due date has passed. I'm going to go ahead and click submit on my opportunity here, my evaluation. And once I click the refresh button, we'll see that this opportunity now has a response of go, since I was the only evaluator selected. Once I've completed my evaluation, the tool is refreshed, and we've got a go here for this opportunity. So we'll analyze it, take a look and see that we've got a go. One person was sent the evaluation, and one person responded, and then we can as many times as we would like to come back in and update whether we pursued it, whether we were shortlisted, or whether we won it. We'll go ahead and say, oh, yes, it's for this today. And we'll mark it as closed. You'll see a little warning here that lets you know it's going to close and remove from the dashboard. And then we'll save the opportunity here. And you'll see it's disappeared from the dashboard. Now we can move on to the reports. Okay, now I'd like to take a look at the robust reporting features of GoNoGo no Go Pro. If we click the Reports tab up here, you'll see we have about six types of reports that we can run with various filters applied to those. We'll look at a date range, which is the, actually the date range for the proposal due date. And we'll look at, say, the last two months of this year and see all the proposals that are due in this last two months and the information about those. So if we go ahead and run the report, you'll see everything is grouped by industry here. And if we wanted to just filter that down and say only look at one specific industry, we can just use that filter pull down and then rerun that report. We can also export this data as an Excel file. The same thing applies for the report by project type. We can do the exact same type of filtering process here and look at just the design build opportunities, for example. And we can even do this by evaluator so that we can see opportunities grouped by evaluators who've been selected to look at those opportunities. We can also do completed versus requested by evaluator, which gives us an opportunity to tell who has been completing their evaluations and who hasn't so that we can make sure that we have adequate buy-in and we have uh, need to follow up and do training or anything like that. And then Finally, we can look at full reports on opportunities. So we can see any specific information about, say, all residential opportunities. And we can then run a report and see every answer for every question from the evaluator. So if we had a further discussion about an opportunity, this is a great way to go ahead and print out this report and show up to the meeting and say, this is why this is coming back as a go. Everyone said, you know, yeses for these questions. And uh, we, we can have a much better informed conversation and more streamlined conversation about this opportunity. We can also do that same thing for any open opportunities that are still on the dashboard. So if something is still in progress and we've yet determined whether or not we want to go for it, we can see all the details of people evaluations. Thanks very much for taking the time to demo GoNoGo no Go Pro and please let us know if you have any questions.